Hey Gemini, welcome to your reading. Today I'm gonna to do a past, present, and future for you. Then I'm gonna pull three cards for your most likely outcome. Please understand that this is a general reading, so if this does not resonate, please check your rising, your sun, your moon, and your Venus sign. Also, the roles can be reversed, okay? So if I feel like I'm talking to you, I could really be talking to your person, all right? So just, you know, feel free to swap if need be. Universe, spirits, and guides, give me five shuffles for the sign of Gemini. Gemini, your overall energy is the Five of Swords in reverse here. You could be looking for a resolution at this time uh, with a person or maybe somebody's looking for a resolution with you, okay? Um, in the past here, we have the Seven of Coins in the upright, the Five of Coins in the upright, and the Empress in reverse. A lot of patience here, someone needing to make a decision. And I feel like that decision made somebody feel not good enough and cause somebody to no longer nurture this and even question their self-value possibly. In the present, we have the Six of Cups in the upright, the Four of Cups in the reverse, and the Magician in the reverse here. This is either some type of reconciliation here with somebody that you view as a soulmate or somebody that views you as a soulmate and then almost being indifferent about it because possibly somebody is manipulative or being a trickster here, okay? Some type of sabotage or manipulative behavior. In the future, we have the Eight of Coins in reverse, the Nine of Cups in the upright, and the Two of Cups in the upright. This is somebody being lazy or this is somebody possibly even being selfish and not putting in any effort into something. But for some reason, we still have the two of cups here at the end. So let's see what that's about. Why is this five of... Six of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. To clarify the Five of Swords in reverse, we have the Knight of Coins in the upright and the Three of Wands in the upright. This is something to do with your person, okay? Whoever your person is. This is you possibly taking it slow, taking it really slow, focusing on your practical matters, what makes sense to you, and maybe even waiting on a resolution with somebody else here. Waiting on a resolution uh, from that other person, maybe waiting for them to come towards you to do so. And it definitely has to do with this soulmate person here. So let's look at the past. Let's look at the seven of coins. Where's the seven of coins here? Six of Cups is still at the bottom of the deck. So clarifying the Seven of Coins, we have the Sun in Reverse and we have the um, Seven of Wands in Reverse. So this is somebody thinking about it, really sitting there and stewing with their thoughts and thinking of something is really worth their time and trying to make an adamant decision. But I feel like whoever this was gave up. Somebody gave up here because they viewed it as unrealistic. And then we have the Five of Coins. Why is the five of coins here? Let's 
Emperor in reverse at the bottom of the deck. The Five of Coins here is clarified by the Magician and the Seven of Cups in reverse. Somebody was left out in the cold here. Okay, somebody was left out, whether that's blocked, you know, whether the, you know, you got ghosted or you, per you ghosted your person, whatever the case is. But whoever got ghosted here, I feel like they started manifesting clarity, manifesting what it is that they need in their life, seeing things for what they are, seeing people for who they are possibly, and trying to make things happen through that pain. Now we still have the Empress in reverse here. So I feel like there were some issues with some self-worth or maybe somebody not feeling good enough. Because the Five of Coins can talk about money issues, but can all, it can also talk about blocked communication and somebody not feeling good enough. I'm sorry, I have to turn on the AC. This is driving me crazy, hold on. It's super weird. I, I, I don't feel like that throughout the entire day in my house. But as soon as I start doing readings, I just start burning up, I don't know. All right, so, um, but I feel like there was some type of um, controlling energy here, okay? Whether that was you or somebody else, I feel like it was the other person, um, you know. Why is the Empress in reverse here? The Empress in reverse is clarified by the Five of Swords in reverse and the Two of Wands. Five of Cups in reverse. So I feel like this is you trying to get over the past, um, making the decision to do so. Um, I feel like you're not nurturing situations that don't bring you a sense of peace, that don't bring you a sense of newness right because this is you trying to get over the past whatever was hurting you this is you trying to find a resolution trying to come out of that out of this empress in reverse energy this you know feeling sorry for yourself or not feeling good enough or even feeling moody or cranky okay and this is you making the decision to come out of that by attempting to let the past go now whether you did that or not i don't know because we have the six of cups here why is the six of cups here There's a sense of um, I heard feeling a sense of something's over, or somebody's using their intuition on this this person, whoever this is here. The six of cups in the upright is clarified by the priestess in the upright and the ace of wands. There's a hesitancy here. There's a hesitancy here because somebody is following their intuition. Because somebody knows that they'll free that that they need to free themselves from some type of possibly a codependent situation. Right under that is the five of coins again. What do we have in the past? The five of coins. Right? This is where somebody got ghosted or somebody didn't feel good enough, whatever the case, because they know if they don't whoever this person is, I feel like this is you. Because you know if you don't free yourself from this person, that's a possibility that it could happen again. So I feel like you're going with your intuition at this time and no matter how much this this person views you as a soulmate and vice versa, it's like there's a hesitancy here because you don't want the, repeat, the past to repeat itself. So why is this four of cups in reverse here? Queen of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck with the Eight of Cups and the upright right behind that. Um, okay. 
So the Four of Cups is clarified by the Seven of Swords in the upright and the Fool in the upright with the Queen of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Right behind that is the Eight of Cups here. It's possible, especially with the Seven of Swords and that Queen of Wands in reverse here right next to each other, that this person has somebody else. And I don't feel like you trust this. And I feel like um, you're indifferent. I feel like you just kind of want to have a new beginning elsewhere. You want to have a new beginning elsewhere because, like I said before, you're tired of the past repeating itself. And whether this person has somebody or not, regardless, there was some type of lying, cheating, stealing, whatever the case is. Some type of sneaky behavior here. Okay? And that's why you're acting indifferent in the present moment here. So let's look at the magician in reverse. Why is the magician in reverse here? I'm not taking all those. Mm. Three cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck. We have the Magician reverse clarified by the King of Wands in the upright and the Page of Cups in the upright. This is a sense of somebody trying to manifest something, uh, possibly by using their sexual attraction or coming in very confident, you know, but also coming in with, hey, I love you, or hey, wanna be friends, or whatever the case is. Um, I feel like there is a strong physical attraction here between the both of you, but there's something that can't be trusted because this magician in, is in reverse, not in the upright. There's something manipulative about this, and I feel like this is a possible reconciliation. If this hasn't happened yet, I at least feel like this person is trying to manifest it because there is some type of physical attraction here and love, to be honest, or at least some type of, you know, deep affection here. But with that Three of Cups in reverse here, I feel like it's not, it's not going to be... It's not going to be what it's cracked up to be because it's like here you're waiting for this, right? You want a resolution. I feel like things are going really slow. You've probably been waiting for a while with whatever specific situation this is, but possibly when it comes in, it's not, it's something you thought you wanted, but it ends up being something that you don't want. Okay. Now feel free to switch roles, but that's what this looks like to me. So let's see this eight of coins in reverse. Why is this eight of coins in reverse here? Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. We have the Eight of Coins in reverse, clarified by the Page of Swords and the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is right after that too. We've got the Nine of Cups twice here. I feel like there is some type of conflict about you and this person being together. I don't know why that popped into my head, Gemini, but there might be some type of conflict between you and this person dealing with one another. The Page of Swords and the Nine of Cups clarifying the Eight of Coins in reverse here. Somebody may um, just be watching you and not doing anything here. Maybe watching you live your best life or watching you go out having a good time with friends or whatever the case is, right? Um, I'm not, let me see. Why is this nine of cups here? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Sorry. Oh, why is this Nine of Cups here? Nine of Coins in reverse at the bottom of the deck here. Eight of Wands in reverse with the Six of Cups in the upright, clarifying the Nine of Cups in the up upright here. Okay, 
So what this looks like to me, what this looks like to me is there's something about some something about some type of um I don't want to say drama, but some kind of conflict around you guys being together around this person being with you of some sorts. Because I feel like this person is just watching you. And it's like, you are this person's wish fulfillment, right? But they're not telling you. They're not telling you this with this eight of wands in reverse. Oh. This is you and this is them. So this person isn't putting in any effort. They're not in the future here. They're not doing shit. They're not doing anything. They're just watching. There's something about some type of issue. I don't know if other people got, you know, Gemini, I always feel like it's something about, even when I did your guys's weekly readings last week is about too many people being in your business and then when I did the live readings it was still people were in your business there's something affecting this relationship to where it can't go all the way or something of that nature because this person isn't putting in any effort they're just watching and they're but you're still their wish fulfillment now you this goes into ties into your energy here where this person is your wish fulfillment, but you're not saying anything and you're waiting because the eight of wands in reverse can talk about not communicating and it can also talk about waiting, which is exactly what you're doing here. Why is the two of cups here? We have the two of stupid cat. We have the two of cups clarified by the tower in reverse. And the four of swords in reverse. There's something about if this person comes towards you or you come towards this person. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. There's something about you guys being together that's going to make somebody jealous. Or um, even if you guys are together, it's like maybe people are watching. Maybe people are watching or people are waiting to see what's going to happen or something of that nature but there's somebody that's jealous here and I don't know if it was that queen of wands in reverse that showed up earlier Gemini Ooh. there are other people involved now whether that's a third party as far as a lover goes or whether that's a third party like other families opinions or what but there's some type of jealousy here that I feel is outside of the relationship now if this is you then it's you if it's them it's them I don't know but that five when that five of wands showed up in the upright earlier that made me think you know um, so let's look at your most likely outcome. What is the most likely outcome for Gemini? Temperance. Nine of Wands in reverse. Three of Pentacles in reverse. 
and the Ten of Cups in the upright. Is this not your person betraying you and you guys having to hide this? And acting like you don't want each other or you guys keeping this? There is a, some, okay. <laughs> this is throwing me for a loop. There is some type of secret around some relationship here. There was, there's some, there's a third party here somewhere or something, because this nine of wands in reverse here and then three of pentacles in reverse, there was some split up that drains um, both parties or all parties involved, and but it has to happen in order for this 10 of cups here, or it's going to have to happen or something of that nature. Then the queen of wands in the upright is here too. And that queen of cups in the reverse showed up. What in the days of our lives is this? Gemini, you always got some crazy stuff going on. So I don't even know who you are at this point. But this is, this is a lot, Gemini. So this was your reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. It was great to see you. I hope to see you next time and have a wonderful Halloween, all right? Peace out.